Can you use multiple tempos in the same project in Logic Pro for iPad? Yes, you can. And in this video, I'm going to show you how. Let's go. Logic Pro has some global tracks. To unhide them, tap on this button here and you'll see by default, you've got the markers and the tempo track. Markers help you organize your project by adding markers for your verse, chorus and other sections. And we show that in another video you can find linked up there and in the description. You can also have multiple key signatures and time signatures in Logic Pro to uncover those signatures. Simply tap and hold and select time signature, tap and hold again, key signature here. And once again, more details in the description if you want to learn more about those. In this video, however, we're looking at the tempo track. This allows you to not only have multiple different BPMs or beats per minute in the same project, but allows you to also ramp between two different tempos. It's super cool. Let's have a look at it now. I've created a simple project in Logic Pro with some guitar, some keys, some drums, and some bass. And at the moment, it sounds like this. But what if we want to change the BPM, change the tempo of the track as we go? Well, what we do is we tap on this button here to bring down our tempo track. We can now add in points to this tempo track to change the BPM. Let's show you that now. Let's say we want this project to slow down halfway through. Well, what we can do is tap here on the pencil icon and tap in an edit point here. This is where we can change the tempo, the speed, the BPM. We can now go back to this move option and drag this either down or up to make it go faster or slower at that point in time. Here's what that's going to sound like. And you'll notice there that this ramps our tempo down from the original speed of 124 BPM all the way down to 109 BPM. Now, it does ramp it down. What if you want it to change immediately? That's what we're going to cover now. To create a sudden change in tempo, simply grab this hollowed out dot and drag it over to the right until it's immediately above the original and then release. And you can see here that now we're going directly from 124 down to 109 and now it sounds like this. We can add as many tempo change points as we like. Simply go back to the edit button here and tap in additional points at places that you'd like the tempo to change. Go back to your move option and then you'll notice as we drag these up or down, it will create additional hollow points here that we can use to ramp between these tempos. So it gives you complete control over your tempo changes and how quickly or slowly it's going to ramp between different tempos. It gives you control to do funky things like this. Now, would you really want to use that in a track? Probably not. But where can this come in handy? Well, it's to do cool things like ramping down your tempo at the end of a track. Let's show you how to do that now. To demonstrate this, I want to get rid of all of these points. So what I'm going to do first is just tap out here, tap and drag over all of these, and then tap on any one of them and hit delete. That's going to remove them all and we're back to our default tempo of 124. I'm now going to select on the edit button here, the pencil icon, and add in my points. First, I want to select where I want the tempo to start changing, which I'm going to do here at bar seven. I'm then going to add another point here right at the end of the track. And now when I go back to move, I can actually drag this one down and look at this. It's created this point here. So at the moment, it's saying it's just going to go down to that tempo at the end. But look, if I grab this one and ramp it down like that, I can either make it go really quickly to that slower tempo or quite slowly. Let's do more of a straight line kind of ramp here because that's kind of what I want with this track. If we come back to here, listen to what this sounds like as we get to the end of the song. And that's really cool. If you ever wanted to do one of those real slow down at the end of your song, you can do that. Obviously, you can do the opposite. You can ramp it up. You can grab your points and go faster, slower. You can move the ramp in between them and you can add as many tempo changes as you like in your track. It's super cool. And I think you're going to have fun exploring this one in Logic Pro. 